Sometimes if you've been into photography for a while, you might lose the bug or you might start to lose inspiration or get stuck in a rut. And not knowing what to do to get out of it is really annoying and really frustrating. If this is the case, this is the video for you. This has happened to me a couple of times and it sucks. And anyone who has been a photographer for a long time who says it hasn't happened to them is either a creative genius or is lying. Sometimes I find photography can be a lonely affair, especially with all of the editing and videography even more so. A good way to get around this is to go out and meet some other photographers. It could be at a photography exhibition, a photography club, or at a popular location where photographers might shoot maybe a sunrise or a sunset. If you meet others that are interested in what you do, you can draw inspiration from each other and you never know, you might make a friend in the photography world. Another tactic I've found to work is to go out and shoot with just one lens and not a lens that you normally shoot with. So root around in that camera drawer and find that lens you bought and have never used or go out and hire a lens for a few days. If you shoot with zooms, find a prime lens and if you're a prime shooter, go out and rent a zoom for the day. What you'll probably find is that you start seeing the world slightly differently through that lens and you'll start to find different angles and shots you might not always see with your regular kit. Another way is to go out and shoot an event in your local area that you haven't photographed before. Some events you can just show up and others you might need to contact the organizers. Event marketeers are always looking for more content so if you can offer them your images, they will normally jump at the chance. Now you may need to get third party insurance for this, but I found it's not that expensive and it's well worth the investment. The last tip I have for you is to set yourself projects. And this is the most important one and the one that will definitely get you out of that rut. If you don't set yourself projects, your camera will tend to gather dust. So here are a few things that I've done. I've set up a rig at home and taken photos of water droplets. I'll go out and shoot an event, which I've already mentioned. I'll find and visit a specific location with a specific shot in mind. For instance, a sunrise or sunset shot I haven't gone to before. I've also set up my kit and done some self-portrait sessions. So I've actually tested out kit by doing this and actually learned more about the kit that I have. And lastly, a product shoot where you can grab some things from your house and try shooting them in different ways. If you play around with the lighting, you can really get creative and really start to take them in different lights. If you do set yourself a project, you'll probably find that you may start off getting pretty bad photos. But don't worry, I usually take a few rubber shots before I start getting creative. And this is all part of warming up. And if you start setting these tasks regularly, or you look for events to shoot on a regular basis, it will really help you and your photography mojo. And you may even get some photographs that'll be worthy of going into your portfolio. Now, have you been in a slump recently and have you been able to get yourself out of it? If you are in a rut, I set you the challenge to take some water drop shots. If you're not sure what that is, click on the eye in the corner. I've already done a tutorial on that. So head over to there and you'll be able to learn everything you need to know about that type of photography. Alternatively, you could find a local sporting event and go and photograph it. And if you do, let me know how you got on and let me see your photos by hashtagging on Instagram, hashtag out of the rut. If you'd prefer to keep your photos private, you can email me them. And my email is down in the description. It would be great to see if I can motivate you guys to get out and start shooting different events or different projects. And I'd love to see your photos. And you never know, I might be able to give you a little bit of feedback to start developing your photos. For more videos, subscribe and make sure you turn on notifications. Also head over to my YouTube channel where I have a growing library of photography and videography tutorials. I'll see you next time.